Let us sing to the Lord, for He has mercy triumphed. More of my strength in my life. He has become my salvation. Sisters, we come to the Eucharist today. We continue our celebration of Christ's resurrection. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty oh, God, to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly chosen my conscience and my words, for I have done what I have to do in my world, in my world, in my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life of last. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's pray. Almighty and Holy God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully. So those who are freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Life to 
our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appeal to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed the God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy.
Blessed are you, Lord God, O creation. You each have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, who you shall receive the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, we become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good and good and good and good. Lord, by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But at this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb once slain will live forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the heavenly hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God of hosts, heaven and earth, Lord of Lord, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he, the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created, rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracefully make holy these gifts to be brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For, on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as you look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of the church and recognizing the sacrificial victim. By whose death he will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit of Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph of Spouse, the blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, and on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely on failing help. 
May the sacrifice of a reconciliation we pray over advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Your servant, Francis R. Pope and John R. Bishop. The order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family. We have some before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and while we are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, who bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we always be free from sin and safe from all stress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia.
Let's pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. Lead those who are pure with heavenly mysteries to pass from one former way into the rest of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Nice. Amen. Amen.